In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely picture for Shavuos of Har Sinai, or you may call it Shavuot, which is also great. I'm going to draw it in pen, but you should draw it in pencil because we don't want the black lines to get in the way of the paint. So we're going to start by placing the luchois, luchot, the two tablets, just above the halfway line. And as we know, in Jewish tradition, the tablets were square or rectangular, not rounded at the top as you see in most depictions of them. This is Har Sinai, Mount Sinai. And we are making it look a bit rocky. And then we're gonna have in the background some various other mountains. And we want them to all look quite big because as we know, Har Sinai was not chosen because it was the tallest mountain or the widest mountain as the very wise song goes, but because it was humble. And that is all you need to do for the drawing. Hmm. I've got here my pencil version and here's the um, pen version just so that you can see, because I know the pencil doesn't show particularly well on the video. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna start with the sky. You should protect your table. We're going to sponge around here. We want it to be darker at the edges and lighter as it gets further in. You have to sponge right off the edge of the paper because we don't want any white spots around it. Okay, and then if you want, you can add a drop of white to your paint and do further in. Keep changing the direction of the sponging. Now, of course, there was thunder and lightning when the Torah was given, but we're not going for that kind of vibe today. Now I'm gonna work on the background mountains. Now we want them to be quite pale and we want it to look like desert. So I'm just making this sort of yellowy brown color. It's actually quite nice if you don't mix the paint fully on the canvas because then you get these nice sort of marks. Not on the canvas, on the palette. I'm actually going to make them a bit darker on one side because then it looks like there's some light coming. Because mountains, even though they're vast, they also have you know, light falling on them. I'm going to paint Harsi and I now. I'm going to mix green. I've got a green, but it's very pale. So I might use it closer to where the Lujas are. my other green very light I mean it, it dries lighter as well but I want it to be that it gets lighter near the look so I also want it to be that the brush strokes are calmer next to uh, next to the look I'm going to make it slightly darker on this side to still get that feeling of the daylight sort of coming from that way, like in the mountains in the background. So that's the painting part done. Now we're going to do some collage. Of course you can paint it if you want, but I really like collage and so should you. No. Look, seriously. I'm going to stick on some nice shiny papers. We're going to use the collage to do the um, lochais and the flowers and gesund to hate. I've got a whole bunch of scraps here, just, you know, bits of paper from other things. So see what kind of things you've got. You might want to use wrapping paper. Um, you can use um, anything you want, really. Ha. For the lochais, I'm going to use this lovely silvery stuff. You can use tinfoil. Something like this would also be good. It's a holographic paper, but that's all I've got left. So I don't have enough of my lochois for that. 
Um, but according to Jewish tradition, I think some say they were made of sapphire, so that would be good. But I'm just gonna stick with the silver. But we want them to look really wow. So use something that is wow. Gonna leave a tiny space in between. So now we're gonna make some flowers. It's very exciting. So I'm just gonna draw a whole bunch of flowers and I'm just gonna do like a basic flower shape. I'm just gonna cut loads and loads and then stick them down in lots of different layers and hopefully it'll look really good. paper is thinner so I should be able to do quite a few in one go. You can do yours from just one or two colours if you want, if you don't want to sit there for ages cutting. I wanted a few with some special features like some of these glittery ones, some of the fluorescent ones. It will look good if you stick the bigger flowers at the bottom of the mountain and the smaller ones as you get higher up. Okay, the last thing we have to do is the letters and um, I'm gonna cut them out, but you can just draw them with a pen if you want. So it feels a bit empty over here, so I'm going to add some more flowers. There we have the finished Shavuos picture. So thank you very much for, for joining me. It was really fun, I think. Um, and please consider subscribing. Please check out my other videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello. Okay, that's not the best aloe I've ever done, but it will have to do. In this video, I'm. <laughs> it's so really funny. It's a funny olive. Okay. Memo to yourself: Don't ever try to cut out a small olive again. Hello. It's so cheesy. Just don't look at that olive too much, okay. Yep, yeah. I'm gonna cut away the pen. Okay, that's not very good, but I'll um... <laughs> so I've got a whole bunch of... Wobble, 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 wobble. Are we still now? Are we happy? <laughs>